Last year I made my first feature film without a team, with very little money, but with a great vision and passion. So far the film has won all the festivals it has been selected for and it is running on Prime Video and other portals. You can now watch it for a short time here on my channel. In this video I show you what makes the movie special. On the one hand it is the unusual script which sticks to an important principle as well as the aesthetic camera work and the minimal acting. Is it out there as good as this? I need to talk to her. If I tell you what she told me, you would kill me. By the way, I took the male lead and my wife the female lead. But the real life is outside. Only there we can be who we really are. When I was in the picture, my wife took over the camera. And when she was in the picture, I took the camera. This video addresses first of all other filmmakers who also want to shoot a movie. But also to people who have seen my movie and want to understand the drive behind it. But also to people who still haven't seen the movie but are attracted of my visuals, which are the expression of my ideas. First, the script. The synopsis. A man is trapped in a computer game where there are only two kinds of avatars, the victims and the offenders. A mysterious beauty tries to free him, but he must first play the other avatar to crack the game's code. There is an idea behind this unusual story. The idea that opposites attract. It is a pattern, so to speak. The weak need the strong and vice versa. But in order for the script to contain more than just a great idea, basically I recommend working with the hero's journey system. This means that the following scene builds on the previous one, so that the plot moves forward. The plot moves forward. If there is a scene between scene one and scene three that is only there to enhance the atmosphere or something, then I would delete it. And this is how I proceed. First I formulate my idea, in this case, plus attracts minus and vice versa. Second, I think about where I can recognize this pattern everywhere. Plus attracts minus and vice versa. For example, the classic guilt minus attracts the opposite pole punishment plus. Or the victim attracts the offender. Third. I create 12 fields as the basic framework of the story. Each of the 12 stations stand for a development process. I think a good story is a great transformation of the protagonist. Then I place the inhibited protagonist at station 1. This is the usual world. He is a loser, minus, and has a monotonous job where he is pushed around, plus. And then I develop the story further through the following stages of development. It is a personalized form of the classic hero's journey. A perfect record of a universal pattern of creation. Attention, spoiler alert. If you still haven't seen the movie, this is a spoiler alert. Be aware of that. Station 2. Call to action. The protagonist is drawn magnetically to a woman. This woman tells him that he is trapped in a computer game in which there are only two types of characters. The victims, minus, and the offenders, plus. Station 3. Refusal of the call. He doesn't believe her and leaves. Station 4. Call to action. Second chance. He is fired. Station 5. Meeting the mentor. He seeks the woman out again. Station 6 crossing the threshold. 
She wants to help him get to an intermediate level where you have to solve a task that allows you to exit the game. They hurry because his feelings of guilt will cause him to attract someone who will punish him. To get to the intermediate level, she injects him with a set of belief classes, a new belief what enables him the intermediate level. Station 7. New World. In the intermediate level he has a different life and different interests. Station 8. Trial. Facing the shadow. He is confronted with a task to recognize himself in his counterpart, which he fails. The woman seeks him out again and they feel attracted to each other. She takes him to the testing station to find out if he can leave the game, but he fails. He is now injected with the belief that good wins over evil. But the woman gives him a tip. Station 9. The new usual world, Plus. He has become the offender character, Plus. And now he fires his own old character, the loser, minus. Station 10. Call to action, Plus. He is magically attracted to the woman again. She leads him to the House of Norms, where he can see his two avatars, Minus and Plus, from the outside. Station 11, Death and Rebirth. He obsessively researches Plus and Minus and has an intuition. He seeks out his fired character again and makes him the boss while he quits. Because now he cracked the game's code, he remembers the hint of the woman to get the belief classes, where he has to enter the code to get out of the game. He says it correctly. Station 12. Coming back home like newborn, transformed through an understanding. The end. Second, cinematography. To immerse the viewer in a magical world, a red line is needed in the visual design. For me, it is minimal lines, lots of shadows and bloom. Sometimes less is really much more especially when it comes to cinematography. Third, acting. The same, that less is more, applies above all to the actors. Nothing can destroy a good script more than overacting. But I don't blame an actor for that. Only the director, because the director is there to make an actor feel the scene instead of just imitating it. In my movie, The Black and White Game, I told the amateur actors not to blink their eyes and to say their lines in a bored way, because that prevents overacting. But my principle is this, let the actors only do what's in the script. That's all. If they have to open a door, I let them open a door. They shouldn't open the door mysteriously or funny, they should just open it. This simplification works wonders especially with amateur actors. Because assuming you have a good script where one scene builds on another, then the story is told through the actions. And that in turn creates the atmosphere and not the other way around, where you have to create an atmosphere to tell the story. The story. The story. And if you still haven't seen the black and white game, please watch the movie. You find it here. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.